praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Excuse me. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah. Give him praise, give him honor and give him glory. Again, I, I guess, you know, um, this is not a disclaimer. This is just truth. I think I understand what the early prophets went through, the Old Testament prophets, um, even the true prophets of today. We go through a lot as far as we have to deliver the burden of God, um, the burden of the Lord, the burden of the people. And what I mean by that is we have to say the truth despite of popular belief, despite of who says what, how, when. You know, many people get mad at me. Y'all just don't know. I mean, I'm going here today and if I offend you, go to God. Let me tell you something. First of all, in order to stand like I stand, I had to be trained. Oh, God, you have no idea. So, with that being said, I'm not easily moved. You're going to say what you're going to say, and I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and that's that end of story. But one thing I've learned to do is follow the Lord thy God. And when, and you have to understand this. It's not just for prophetic people. When you truly follow God, that's what you do. It don't matter what nobody say, what they think, what they feel. You have to go straight to God. That's why wisdom and discernment is so important in this hour. And I'm saying this to say, like, um, I, I recently got some information. Honey, I cannot allow any of you to move me. Whether you do this, you do that, it does not affect me. I'm sorry. It, now, hold on. I got to do a disclaimer. It's not that I don't care. Because some people will do stuff to see you get a reaction. That's you. I'm not going to let you make me react. Come on, somebody. Now, I got to say what I got to say. Many are prostituting the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. First of all, I'm going to walk this thing out slowly but surely. What is the majority of your church folks? Women, right? End of story. That should tell you a lot right there. But I'm going to go ahead and walk this thing out anyway. Most women are what? Emotional. Most women are what? Hot in the pants. You can say what you want to say. Because most of y'all follow men that look good. Oh, I'm going here. Y'all not going to like me today at all. I promise you. Most of you do not go on wisdom and discernment. Y'all see somebody look good and, and uh, that's it. Y'all watching them. You know, I'm going to walk this thing out deep. I didn't know God was going to make me go here. When I first um, began my prophetic journey, a lot of you don't know this and a lot of you do. The first person to ever lay hands on me as a prophet was Bishop Clarence McClinton in Los Angeles, California. I was going to his church. That's when I was um, working for, I was marketing, one of the marketing directors for Hometown Buffet in LA, in Hearthstone. And I'm going, I'm going here today. And I never forget, if anybody have ever met Bishop Clarence McClinton, because he's, he has also counseled Michael Jackson, Tamaya Moore, Mari, I might, I might be saying her name wrong, but a lot of stars, a lot of stars would always go to his church. Walk with me, walk with me. And he was very handsome. He's a very handsome man. If you ever seen him in person, I mean, the stuff I've seen will make your head spin. I remember sitting in church one day and the women just, oh. I mean, one of them, I say, I, I, I say, I'm moving from you because you tripping. I mean, they were, they would, they what they wouldn't do. And I'm sure he's not the only one that women do this to because I've heard of other stories. But all I can tell you is my story. It's got so to the point where I really didn't was had to watch who I sit by because most of his following was women and they went, went to just watch him. I hate to say it, but it was true. They were so busy drooling over the man. I don't think they heard anything he said. Now, let's clarify this. He was very anointed, still is very anointed. I didn't agree with a couple of things concerning his wife, but that's his business. He, he divorced his wife, whatever. But I'm sticking to the subject. I saw women just go crazy over this man, not really listening to his, his speed, his, um, his anointing. So after I saw that, I know how women roll in churches. I hate to say it. You got a percentage that truly love God. They seeking God. They ain't trying to do nothing. That's not of God, but you have 88% that the way they operated outside of church is the way they op operate inside the church. Meaning that they will do whatever they can do to try to get that man's attention. Cause to him, to them, they're a man. They're not a man of God. Y'all got to understand the difference. When a woman look at a man, they could think two things, a man of God or just a man. Oh, that's deep teaching. Y'all don't understand that. So long story short, well, I'm going somewhere with this. Y'all not going to like it either. Some of you, y'all keep bringing up Marcus Rogers to me. So let me go ahead and do a big old disclaimer first. 
I love true men and women of God. You got that Holy Ghost fire? I love you. God bless you. We are co-laborers in the faith. Let's do this. But if you is fake, I'm coming at you with every fiber of my being. Ain't nothing but being jealous because who's jealous of somebody that's on their way to hell? No, I'm coming at you because the Bible says to. He said, rebuke a brother or sister, especially if they are in error. Now, nah. so let me go ahead and tell y'all something. Who is real? Y'all know T.D. Jake's son-in-law, Tory, out of Los Angeles? That man's real. Let's see who else is real these days. There's very few of them. Um, ooh, Lord. I can't I can't hardly think of them off the top. Um, because y'all, most of them that are real, y'all don't know. They're not famous. I, I hate to say it, but it's true. Now, concerning Marcus Rogers, I've said this so many times. If y'all do the background on this young man, this young man has a love of God. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. But he's not called. And I, and I understand what I'm saying. I believe in all of us are ambassadors of Christ and ministers of the gospel. But he does not have a high calling. I truly believe that what he's trying to do is what he's done with Jonathan. I forgot that guy's name. Um, Because I don't be paying attention to people when they're not real. I'm going to tell you that right now. I don't. I'll pay attention as far as praying for them. But all that extra attention that y'all do, I don't I do not do that. Because they're not stars. I just said something. When you see a person that is trying to run after fame and stardom, that is not. The authenticity of God. Let's and I, I can let's go scripture because y'all like y'all y'all want to talk, but let's go scripture. The Bible says Jesus made himself of no reputation. Every time you look, if you notice what he tackles, he tackles everything that happened with Kirk Franklin. Now with Kanye West. You're telling me, come on, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me like y'all like to do. You mean to tell me God ain't telling him to handle maybe other stuff? Or I mean, it's like he, he only deal with big stuff. Ever since he was on Ricky Smiley, put him on, oh, pastor comes against, Kirk, uh, I forgot who that was, he came, Dietrich Hatton. I don't deal with people on a star thing. I, that's just y'all think. Y'all run after people that have famous names and this, this. I roll with who's anointed, who's appointed. So don't come to me with no foolishness about, well, he said, I don't care what that young man saying. That young man is just barely anointed. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me today. He ain't barely anointed. It's just that y'all women got him going crazy. Yeah, I said it like that. And y'all pour so much money into him. Oh, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I knew y'all was going to do it. Let me tell y'all what most people doing. Just what I see. Prostituting the body of Christ, which is you. Y'all give the fake ones so much money and the real ones have to beg. Yeah, I said it. I, and then y'all say they begging. Well, I wonder why. I wonder why the real ones got to beg. Because y'all are so busy pouring into the ones that look good and are famous. But have no real anointing. Yeah, I said it. it's time for somebody to say it. And ain't nobody hating. Because I ain't going to never hate on nobody that's out of order. Hello. Or in order. Truth be told. So. I'm, and then y'all get mad. Y'all get mad at the truth. You can get mad at the truth all day long. I really don't care. Somebody just got mad at the truth. And um, I ain't going to say it because she's she going to feel some kind of way. I don't care what you do. What you stop. What you start. You do not move me. I guess. No, I'm going here. I ain't even scared. Honey, I don't mean no harm. Because I guess I'm, I made that comment. Y'all know I just did that um, that video about Kanye West. Well, I'm, I got to say it like I got to say it. One of the students got mad at me. Honey, you can quit the class all day long. I'm still going to talk. I'm still going to say what God said to say. Y'all crazy? I, I, I'm, I'm the right one, y'all. I'm sorry. I couldn't understand why I went through so much hell, so much stuff. I'm the right one because I didn't care when I was in the world. And I sure don't care now about how people feel because truth is truth all day long. Y'all be acting like y'all bullies. Well, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I don't care what you do. How about that one? You got the right one. I ain't moved by emotions and, oh, my God, what they're going to do, what they're going to say. They're not going to like me. Oh, the devil is a lie. Roll out so that's what you do. And guess what? I still love you. Y'all playing with the right one today, tomorrow, and any day. But you're mad at the truth. The Bible says, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> Y'all got the right one. I love you. 
Don't you know I'm mandated to tell you the truth? I'm not going to lie. And let me go ahead and get the scripture out the way. Come on, let's let's talk scripture. Let's talk scripture. Cause and y'all notice that's what I've been doing with y'all. Cause I want y'all to see scripture for y'all self. Cause I don't think people understand what's happening here. Hold on. Iniquity. Let's walk this thing out. Iniquity means immoral or grossly unfair behavior. Okay. Matthew seven twenty two says, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done one doing from works. Oh, hold on. Let me put some Matthew seven twenty three, And then I will profess unto them. I never knew you depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. I just read to you what iniquity was, right? So you do. You understand what's happening here? Do y'all understand what's happening here? Let's go back to iniquity. Let's go back to iniquity. Immoral or grossly unfair behavior. And and that's it. That's it. I ain't going to be going around and around in this subject. Let me tell you something. Many, many will say, Lord, Lord, and their heart is far from God. I didn't see it. I hate that it's happening. I'm sorry that it's happening to a lot of people. You getting pimped straight up. You getting pimped. And I'm going to be real with you. I know they don't know God because that's a scary thing to do. Excuse me. I'm 51. And don't you know? And I'm going to say it. Every ugly thing I did, I paid for. You don't, you don't get away with nothing. So they're getting away now, right? Right? You know later God going to expose them, right? And don't it always happen just like that? My God, my God, my God. Y'all playing with y'all playing with fire for real. I don't play with God. Never have. And I pray I never will. So all I'm saying is keep y'all fake preachers to yourself. Don't be trying to bring it to my face. I can care less. Now I'm going to pray for people because that's what we called to do. We don't hate nobody. We don't, you know, just throw away people. But I got to call it like it is. And, and thank you, Lord. I hear you. The bottom line, test the spirit by the spirit. Do y'all feel anointing? Because I'm going to be honest with you. There's another young man I'll be trying to listen to. I can't listen to him when they don't have no anointing. Yes, they be having some good points. I give them that. But I can't listen to it because it's like it's gibberish. It's like it's not of God. And when something is not of God, it doesn't resonate. You know, I guess you, you have to understand what level you own. If you put junk in your trunk, then that's all you're going to operate in junk. I listen to people that are powerful, that are, uh, that love God, that have, you know, it's like this. Many are called and few is chosen. Let, let's keep it scriptural. What, what did God say that for? You want to know what he said that for? Because it's the truth. Many are called and few is chosen. Many, they're going to do whatever, whatever. The few, we know not to play with God in any capacity. All right, that's all I got to say. God bless you. God keep you. And I love you. And I'm going to tell you the truth. And I ain't scared. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> y'all, it made me feel better. Y'all know I don't play. I don't know why y'all be trying to come at me. But I guess it's as iron sharp as iron. So it's the countenance of a friend and an enemy. Mm. Yeah, I see it. All right. God bless. Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for 32 we are. God bless.